So, I've talked about Vesemir and Eskel, but there was always one Witcher, one guy who I never got round to talking about, and I think it's time. But what was his name again? Ah, Lambert. Lambert Lambert. What a... Uh, how does it go again? What a prick. Not bad. <clears throat> Lambert of the School of the Wolf is a witcher like no other. He possesses prowess unparalleled by any of his kin, skills with both the sword and maiden like no other. He is famous throughout the continent for his incredible wit and good looks. I mean, just look at his face. Just look at it. Or so he would like to believe. Lambert is actually a sarcastic, annoying, rage-inducing, but also loyal and skilled witcher. And to make it all better, he comes from the same witcher school as the White Wolf himself, Geralt of Rivia. Although he'd probably hate that to be included in his introduction. Anyway, for today's video, I'm going to discuss this witcher in all of his glory. I'll begin by going over some general information, like his appearance and skills, and then go over his full story in the witcher books and games. To begin, his appearance is that of a man with short brown hair, a beard, a large scar covering the full length of the right side of his face, and the typical yellow cat-like eyes. His armour is unique, but stylized to possess similar traits to others belonging to the School of the Wolf, the primary colour of this armour being black, with some occasional red, white and silver, and to top it all off, he bears the symbol of his school, a wolf, in the form of a medallion shown visibly hanging from his neck. Like many other witches, he also has two swords hanging on his back, both a silver and steel sword. Lamet doesn't stand out as a particularly skilled witcher, but when compared with your average swordsman, he is a very skilled and capable fighter. In fact, I, I think this is most apparent in the Battle of Kaer Morn when he can be seen getting saved by either Geralt or Kira Metz. Yeah, that's right, getting saved. Lambert's story begins as a child, taken from his family through the lore of surprise. His father, a drunk, useless, excuse of a man, as described by Lambert, was saved by a wandering witcher of the School of the Wolf. This witcher invoked the lore of surprise and found Lambert upon returning Lambert's father home. From here, Lambert was taken to the School of the Wolf and trained in the ways of the witcher. Lambert always resented being a witcher. He hated that his life had to be given up for the sake of his father, a man who used to beat him and his mother and drink every night. In his eyes, he was forced away from his home and a mother whom he loved dearly. This resentment only built during his youth at Kaer Morn. Unlike Geralt and Eskel, who were trained together, Lambert is a younger man and had different companions in his youth, although he still had the same fencing instructor, Vesemir. However, of these different companions, none of them survived before the events of the games. When a young witcher is getting to the later stages of his training and finally becoming a fully-fledged witcher, he must go through a variety of trials. And on one of these trials, known as the Trial of the Medallion, some of Lambert's companions were killed, making him further hate what he and his friends had to go through at a young age. Also, it should be apparent that Lambert was one of the lucky few Wolf School witchers not present during the massacre at Kaer Morn. So like both Geralt and Eskel, he survived. After his youth, we skip forward to when Lambert, Eskel, Cohen, Vesemir, and later Geralt and Ciri were wintering at Kaer Morn. During this time, Lambert helped with the training of Ciri, and made sure she completed her daily drills and was fully prepared to become a witcher. Although they had no actual plans to subject her to the Trial of the Grasses, and physically turn her into a witcher. This is when Triss Merigold, or Merigold, as Lambert so affectionately referred to her as, entered the picture. She arrived at Kaer Morn and offered the witcher's advice on how best to raise the girl, especially with her innate magical talent. Lambert bickered with Triss a lot during this time, but other than a few instances, nothing of note involving this character occurred, and there was pretty much no mention of him after this brief period. That is, until we get to the first Witcher game. In The Witcher 1, Lambert was at Kaer Morn when Geralt escaped the Wild Hunt and had amnesia. During this time, the Salamandra attacked the keep and Lambert helped in its defense. However, the Salamandra managed to steal Witcher secrets and kill another Witcher being trained at Kaer Morn, Leo. This is when the Witchers present decided to split up, with Lambert heading east to Kedwin. Nothing is known about what Lambert managed to achieve during this time, but he can next be encountered in The Witcher 3, during a seemingly routine Ekimara contract. If Geralt encounters Lambert during this contract, he learns that during their time apart, Lambert made friends with another Witcher, Aiden. But this Witcher was of the School of the Cat. 
It turned out that Lambert was on the trail of the murderers of his friend Aiden, and assuming Geralt agrees to help him, the two decide to work together to find his friend's killers. Prior to agreeing or declining, Lambert tells Geralt a short story about how he met Aiden when on a contract to lift a curse from an ogre. However, Aiden had taken a similar contract, but instead to kill the ogre. This ogre killed Lambert's employer, so instead of freeing it of its curse, Lambert agreed to work with Aiden to kill the ogre and split the reward. After this, the two became friends and worked Worked together on many contracts. Sadly, Aiden was eventually murdered, as at some point he had taken a contract to lift the curse off a duke's daughter, and it didn't go very well. Lambert believed that this situation regarding the curse was a political mess in which the duke's courtiers did not want the curse lifted. It is for this reason he believed Aiden was murdered, by assassins led by a man named Yad Karadin. However, if Geralt assists Lambert with the tracking down of Aiden's killers, they learn something very surprising. First, they question the elf Vien. Then, if Geralt agrees to help Lambert further, Geralt travels to Skelliger to pursue a lead, and Lambert travels to Tretagor. The two eventually find Yad Karadin, and learn an entirely different story to the one Lambert believed. Karadin had changed his name to Roland Truger, and become a respected philanthropist and trader. He told Lambert and Geralt that Aiden had accepted the contract to lift a curse off a duke's daughter, as they already knew, but had nothing to do with a complicated political situation. Aiden had simply botched the contract, spent all the money he earned from it, and ran away. Yard Carradin and his crew were hired to reclaim the Witch's swords as payment, and when he refused, things got heated, and Vienne lost her nerve and shot Aiden square in the eye. After the murder, the gang broke up, leading to Carradin's current situation. Geralt can allow Carradin to be killed or stop Lambert, both of which don't have major consequences, other than Lambert being annoyed in one instance as Geralt stopped him. After this, Lambert returned to Kaer Morhen. Sometime later, Geralt also returned, with a deformed man known as Uma, but prior to this, Yennefer ordered Lambert, Eskel, and Vesemir to prepare to remove the curse off Uma. Lambert's job was to imbue an object known as the Phylactery with elemental power, which is what young witches had to do with their medallions. Geralt assists Lambert with this, and after performing the Trial of the Grasses on Uma, Lambert, Geralt, Vesemir, Eskel, and Yennefer witness Uma becoming Avalark, an elven sage. Throughout The Witcher 3, Geralt had been searching for Ciri, and Avalark revealed her location, the Isle of Mists, where he had hidden her from the pursuing Wild Hunt. The group decided to bring Ciri to Kaer Morhen and fight the Wild Hunt there. Lambert later helped at the Battle of Kaer Morhen, however it is possible that this is where this Witcher died, as he only survives if Geralt assists him, or the sorceress, Kira Metz, saves him. After the events of the Battle of Kaer Morhen, Lambert decided to leave Kaer Morhen, not seeing the point in staying with his tutor Vesemir dead. Vesemir and Lambert had a complicated relationship, to say the least. Lambert saw the man as a representation of the witches who had taken him from his family, ruined his life, and effectively subjected him to torture at a young age. However, he still loved him in his own way, and Vesemir's death deeply affected him. It is at this point that Lambert either left Kermorn alone, his fate unknown, or left with Kira Metz, as after having saved him, the two found a kinda love for one another and became a couple. Lambert is one of those characters that stands out in The Witcher. He's a character that is one of few belonging to the famed School of the Wolf Witches, and shares a close bond to the hero of our story. Geralt of Rivia. It is also clear from his various interactions with Geralt and the other witches that they are close, have respect for one another, and are pretty much family. Vesemir is like the father, Eskel and Geralt are like brothers, and for lack of a better description, Lambert is like the annoying younger brother, but he still has a strong personality and a loyal heart. A video on Lambert wouldn't be complete without mentioning a final point regarding him and a sorceress Geralt can, and previously did, have a relationship with. Triss Merigold. In The Witcher 1, footsteps can be found outside of Triss's window. Nothing seems to come of it, but they can be found. Fast forward to The Witcher 3, Lambert asks Geralt how Triss is doing, and during a drinking game at Kaer Morhen, Lambert, Eskel, and Geralt were playing, Lambert reveals that he jumped out of a lover's window as he didn't wish to hurt a friend. All of this may seem circumstantial, but it becomes more curious when you realise that you get the Triss Gwent card by defeating Lambert. And if you don't manage to defeat Lambert and win the card, this card can later be found in Lambert's bed. But anyway guys, that's it for today's video. Please like it if you enjoyed, 
and subscribe if you want to see more Witcher videos. Also check out my second channel, Ranger George, there's going to be some videos out on this soon, and I think they're going to be pretty interesting. But that's it for now, and I hope to see you all soon.